So let's work on our next speaker, Igor, uh, Igor who will be uh, presenting console-orientated services. Hi, guys. Well, I suppose that the font here is not good, uh, not, not big enough, right? So you can just curl this URL and you will, this, you will see the same on your laptops if you want to. Just try. So can you read this curl? cheat.sh force them. You can use both uh, the short version of cheat uh, and the long version. So it doesn't matter. Uh, and if you use this loop, you can constantly update uh, the, the, the content of your terminal with enter. Streaming is possible too, so it could be possible to even stream this uh, presentation to your uh, laptops using curl. And, uh, Probably I will show you how it works if we have enough time for that. Okay, so let us start. So my name is Igor, as I already said, and I'm working for um, Exosolid, is a company in, in Nuremberg. Uh, we are doing our uh, relational database management system. According to many benchmarks, it is uh, one of the fastest, or maybe even the fastest database management system in the world. But uh, it is not really well known because it is interest interesting only for big companies that ha have uh, really much data, such as Sony or uh, Adidas or whatever, so typical our customers. But if you want to read about it, just uh, Google, and um, you will find uh, out a lot of interesting things. But today I want to tell, uh, to speak with you not about uh, how you can un analyze the data as quickly as possible, but how you can use the data as quickly as possible. Uh, and uh, for me, um, the best tool for that, it is terminal. So terminal is the best tool to use, or to, to analyze data, to use uh, data as well as code. We have uh, plenty of tools that are running in terminals. Uh, whatever, so shells, uh, editors, uh, mail clients, uh, instant messengers, and so on, so on, so on, so on. A actually, for each and every task, you have one tool or many tools in terminal, and they are uh, usually state of the art. B but at least, but there is at least one thing where uh, you have to switch uh, to GUI, so leave terminal and switch into GUI, it is when you uh, want to surf the internet, when you need a browser. Of course, I know that such things as console browsers uh, exist. So here is a list of uh, console browsers, for example, Lynx, Elynx, W3M, and uh, even uh, a recent one, brow.sh. You can uh, read um, more about it. It is a really cool project. Just uh, check it out. But it is, um, for, my, for, for me, from my point of view, it is not really a satisfying experience still. And the problem is, the problem is not uh, the lack of uh, graphical uh, capabilities of terminal. The problem is, uh, so as I said, in, in my opinion, yeah? Uh, the problem is that um, terminal is already a browser, so to say. So uh, you can uh, perceive terminal as a browser and the prompt as your location bar. And that is why it is strange and a natural idea to start a browser inside a browser. And that is why it doesn't really work. So if you start something like links, well, it works, but you don't like it usually. Uh, so the question is, could it be possible to create some service or some website that could be accessible directly from the console without any additional layer, just directly from the console as you usually do it from uh, a web browser? And the answer is yes, it is possible first, and the second, it is really efficient. So these services are really efficient, and people, users, do like them. Maybe, maybe many of you already use, uh, use the services and found uh, they good. Okay, let us, go, let us go through a couple of examples. So this one is probably the most uh, famous one, the most popular one. It is Weather In. It is a weather reporting service for console. Uh, you can use it with curl directly, so let us just try. You run something like curl weather in, and you will get, oops, to this font is too, too, too big. Uh, you will get something like that. 
So you will get a weather report for the current location. In this case, it is Nuremberg because my uh, shell is running somewhere in Germany. But if you run this command on your laptops, you will get probably Brussels. Uh, or you can specify any location you want. If you, if you want to specify Brussels, you can do it. Uh, let us go to the next one, QR code. With this service, you can uh, quickly bring, your, bring some text from the console on your smartphone if you want to. So let, let us try. Uh, QR encode. Oh, sorry. Uh, probably we have, yeah. And I, I have just converted QR with this service, fosdom.org, into a QR code. And if you s scan it with your smartphone, you will get the text here. You uh, can bring even larger parts of um, text, for example, some text file, etc., password, or what, whatever. Um, this service uses some graphics, uh, but it is not really graphic. It is some boxes, and uh, well, you can say it is text. But would it, could it be possible to create some service that really use graphics? So, so uh, I mean, could you represent some graphical information? Uh, yes, I have created um, a proof of concept for that. Red.6, it was for cryptocurrencies because uh, they hyped at that time. And so I decided to make a uh, so, so uh, service for that. But of course, you can use the same method for any information you want. So for example, you can uh, represent traffic over interface or whatever with this method. OK, let us try. Um, Where is it? Yeah, OK. That is Bitcoin price in this case uh, for two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And we can specify any interval we want. For example, two months, OK, or six months. OK. So actually, as you can see, you can uh, visualize any graphical information. And my favorite one, uh, cheat.sh. Uh, Actually, Stack Overflow is a site that I use all the time. And so I thought probably I could create some service uh, that could um, allow to access the data from Stack Overflow directly from console without installing anything. And uh, that is how this um, service uh, was created. So with this service, you can uh, ask any programming language question directly from console using nothing but curl. OK, let us try. Um, curl cheat.sh. If you specify some command name uh, here, look, I don't know what, tar, for example, you will get cheat sheet for this command, tar. If you specify a programming language, for example, Python, and then some question, so let us try, Python, and then, well, uh, I don't know, create empty file, for example, yeah? You will get explanation how you can create an empty file. And here, at the last line, you see uh, the source of the, uh, of the answer. So in this case, it was Stack Overflow, this answer. So you can al always open it and uh, read it through if you want to. Actually, all of the services were just proof of concept to show uh, people, uh, community, that first, it is possible to create such services, and second, that they are really efficient and that it is possible to have users for them. Uh, actually, actually, I was really impressed with uh, their popularity. I didn't expect that they will be so popular. Uh, just, just a couple of numbers. Um, so Weatherin, for example, has, um, currently has more than one million queries daily. For, for, for some projects that I created in a couple of days, it, it is really amazing. And I did not <laughs> any advertisement for that. So people just want to use it because it is convenient. Uh, the same number of queries for, for uh, rate of six, so one million queries daily. Uh, Cheat.sh has uh, something like 50,000 active users. I see it in the logs. And you can check uh, the popularity on GitHub, the number of stars and things like that. Uh, and that is not because the services, are, so I mean, these particular services are so cool, but because the approach does work. So. That means that you can try to create something like that and you will see that people want to use it. It is really easy to create services like that, but um, I hope that it will be even easier in uh, the future because we are working on a um, special framework 
for that. It will, it, it, it's called Curlator. Uh, that is a framework by means of what you can convert any, uh, any Unix or Linux program into a console-oriented service, or you can use it as an adapter for an existing web um, service. Okay, uh, that is my Twitter if you want to follow me and to see uh, news about uh, console-oriented services. And for the end, I want to show you uh, a new proof of concept that I created to demonstrate uh, new possibilities of the services. So all of them, all of the services that we have seen before were um, not, not, really, not really interactive. So we uh, should, uh, so we send queries, we get answers, uh, and so on. Yeah, we, can, we could not work interactively with them. But the question is, is it theoretically possible to uh, create a service that could be accessible with only curl and nothing uh, except curl, and that would be really interactive. For example, some such, well, I don't know, game or something like that. Would it be possible or not? Uh, okay, let us try. Um, of, of course, it is, it is not yet possible with only one curl call, but it is possible, I, 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 we will see it now, uh, with just minimum of scripting. So um, if you use this small script, you can uh, run this interactive application. In this case, it will be, okay, I, I will just execute it. Um, okay, that is what I do. So I execute the small script, but I could start it directly from the console, of course. Uh, and it doesn't work. Wah. What is the problem? Sorry. Well, I'm surprised. Okay, let me try here. Maybe it will work here. Okay, and now Okay, it works. Um, so, okay, I should uh, switch this, this debug information off, but as you can see, it is Tetris, and it, no, really, it works. But, well, not, not as good as I hoped. <laughs> okay, let us try again. Okay. Sorry, the last trick was not really <clears throat> uh, successful. But it doesn't matter. Well, someone is playing now. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, the, I will publish it in my Twitter uh, as, as, as soon as it uh, will work uh, properly. Okay. So that is uh, basically everything that I wanted, or better to say, planned for today. So if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. And thank you very much for your time. We have time for one question. So, yep. Um, why do you use any protocol, especially for interactive use? Because I understand uh, for interactive use, you're asking the user to open some arbitrary code in the machine so they can access interactive. So the question was, uh, why do we use HTTP uh, for interactive stuff? Uh, what could we use uh, instead of that? You mean SSH? Or uh, Yes, uh, well, it is a good question. So uh, the reasons for that is, uh, first, that you want to have the same look and feel as, a normal, as usually in browser. So in browser, you have HTTP, HTTPS. So you have URL, and you want to access URL. So of course, you could replace URL with, uh, well, host name and then uh, command name but it is not the same. And the idea is that you could access the same services directly from browser or from your terminal. Doesn't, it 